Welcome to my creative chronic life. Today I'm back with another colour with me and we'll be colouring from the Johanna Basford Small Victories colouring book and I thought I'll do something really quick and really simple today. So this page here, there's lots and lots of flowers here, different various types. I thought I'll pick one from here and we can do that and just spend a couple of, a couple of minutes together. So I decided to go for this one here and my thought behind this is it reminds me of bluebells. I think that's what they're called, the type of flower. So what I'm using here now is the Castle Arts Botanical Collection and I'm starting off with Cerulean Blue Light 047. Now all the details are in the description box below of what I'm using whilst I'm colouring any tools that I've got, what types of colours and the colours I'm using in order. Now pop them on the screen as well so when I change colours I do try and match but they are in order in the description box below. So what I'm doing is just popping down some base colour and I'm doing the edges a little bit darker and the tops of them a little bit darker but I'm using this colour as an overall colour just to get some base down and texture. How have you all been? What have you been up to? Have you received your books? Are you enjoying them or are you just wondering if it's a good idea to get into colouring? Now if you're aware Johanna Basford is on Facebook live for the rest of the week and if you follow her on her social media platform over on Instagram she is giving you a free download so a free page of colouring so if you don't have the book or you just want to give it a go you can do that and you don't have to have fancy pencils you can just use any generic ones i've got some from crayola i've used some from poundland before i mean if you want i can give you a tutorial just to let you know that you can use any type of pencil crayons it doesn't have to be pencil crayons also if you wanted to just do them in black and white or if you fancy just doing them in a little bit of felt tip from the kids just that somebody has so anything goes really so what I've used here is Ultramarine 043 and I'm just going over the tops, the bottoms and around the corners just to deepen the edges and then I'll be using the Cerulean Blue Light to go over it and just to blend it in. It's really quick and simple just using two colours to just mix and blend. And for the tops of the flowers, I'm just using Ultramarine 043. Now what I like to do is complete all the flowers and then I take a step back and I have a look and think, do I need to add a little bit more colour here? Do I need to add a little bit more colour there? And that's what I'm doing right here, right now. You can always add and you can't necessarily take away. I know there's some people that use particular rubbers or go over in pencil. Or even some use Tipex and then they cover over, cover, you know, colour over them again. I don't like to do that. I just think it's a waste of time. I'm only spending a few minutes doing it. So I might as well just do the best I can in the time that I have. I will be sharing videos every day this week so if you're not subscribed please do so you'll receive notifications of any upcoming videos. I do like to put a little bit of a premiere on these videos so it gives you a little bit of time if you are actually following me step by step. So here now I'm just working on the leaves and what I'm using is Oxide of Chrome 063 and I'm just using one pencil this time. So what I'm doing is just darkening the corners and then bringing the colour down to make it a little bit lighter. I like to use one or two colours on something as small as this because I think adding more, it just you can't really tell any difference. And not only that, when you've only got a few minutes and you're just sitting down, having a minimum amount of pencils is much better. I have seen some challenges out there where they just colour in six pencils or they only use a set of 12. Now the ones I'm using, the 24 but it is the botanical set so it is mainly meant to be used towards flowers and leaves and that type of scenery now castle arts has a variation of these 24 sets so if you did want to use them just for scenic or for landscapes or for just backgrounds there are different types now in the next color along with me i will be using the stead lesser and then i'll go to use 
my full Arteza set because I've got a full page that I want to be able to use them for. I mean, they're only the colours that I've got at the moment because, again, I'm not somebody who colours often. I only colour from time to time. And the Arteza set was actually a gift, I think, for my birthday a couple of years ago. So, again, I'm not really one for spending a lot of money on a lot of items. And I think the McDo, there's 170 or 120 pencils in the Arteza set, and I think that's plenty. And if I'm honest, I don't think I've even got through the first two or three layers with them. But I will do a kind of flip through or an unbox, I'm not sure what it's called, um, with you with the Artesas where I show you every single one. So if you are looking to buy them either for Christmas or for somebody's birthday, if you're just wanting to start off, then you'll get a good feel of what's actually out there and what's available and the price, for, price point for them items too. So what I've done here now is I've used Payne's Grey 119 for the background and then I'm going in with Titanium White 072 just to kind of blend that in because the blue is already so vibrant I didn't want the background to be vibrant also and I think it really blends really nicely. Now if you're wondering if I colour that fast, I don't. This video is actually sped up a couple of times over but I'm a very very slow colour in person it takes me ages not only because of my carpal tunnel but also just generally I like to take my time and what I decided to do here was go back in with the titanium white 072 and go over the flowers just to blend them all in just on the top not on the bottoms and I think that really made it stand out that's come together really nicely that's all done for now I hope you all enjoyed watching you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram and the threads up at My Creative Chronic Life. Please do leave a comment below, let me know what you've been up to. Keep a lookout for my next video. Until next time, bye bye.